Hey mama, Cody Andrus, author of Jesus by Her Side, is back with me today to talk about how we use our everyday moments and routines as a training ground to see God clearly, perhaps when it matters most. And if you missed yesterday's episode and you're wondering whether you are an ice pack queen, well, make sure to go check that out. All right, let's get into part two. And so I, uh, speaking of those 10,000 things, you know, a lot of those things can just be a, a daily part of living, um, whether it is part of your routine or because you're taking care of kids or, you know, your family or nieces and nephews, things like that. Having a routine can often end up feeling like the things that you're doing within the routine are just boring, mundane. This is just what I do. I'm going through those motions. But in your book, you argue that those actually become a training ground to see God clearly. So tell me more about that, because I love the idea of, of making sure that those mundane moments, those everyday, maybe it's simple, boring moments, are actually uh, building your faith. Yeah, so the the woman that we see or that where I where I see that is Anna in the temple and she was it's early in the book of Luke and she is ministering in the temple so just like worshiping, serving and she's there when Jesus when Mary and Joseph bring Jesus as an infant into the temple and because of the routines of her day and the rhythms of her day and she's been doing it for decades without seeing this, you know, the son of God didn't get carried into the temple once a week. This is one time in an entire lifetime that she got to see and recognize that the savior had come into the world and then actually into her path. And I just think of that picture of what day in and day out looked like for her, just that cultivating faithfulness. And then because of that, she got this remarkable moment of seeing the son of God before very many people did. And for us, I think that that can look like what we think of as, oh, this is just the way my day goes. Or maybe we wake up early because that's the only time we have to spend with the Lord before the family gets crazy or work starts or whatever our day looks like. It can become just this rote part of our day of like, this is just part of what I do. And then next I'm going to get the kids up and then next I'm going to pack lunches and next I'm going to do this. And it can become just like you're saying, a series of tasks. But if Mm -hmm. we can train ourselves to spend that intentional time, like you were talking about a minute ago, seeking the Lord and really desiring to know his heart, to know what it looks like when he speaks, or what it, what it feels or sounds like when he speaks to us in those quiet places of our heart. If we cultivate faithfulness in those areas, then when we're packing the lunches or we're driving the carpool or we're finishing the emails or we're doing all of that at once, we can start training ourselves to have those more less structured moments of saying, Lord, what do you, what do you, you know, how would you have me reply to this email? It can almost become part of the rhythm, but then when it does, we have the eyes to see those moments where his manifest presence or when the experience of his presence Mm -hmm. sort of breaks through those mundane moments. And it may be five weeks of like, "Ah, I don't really know if the Lord is I know that the Lord is here, but I I haven't had one of those moments where I really feel his nearness. But if we're cultivating yeah. that faithfulness and getting in the habit of looking for it, then that one moment where we get to have a conversation with a kid in the back seat and go, Lord, I see the fruit of all those y- weeks or months of conversations. You can recognize him instead of it just feeling like, oh, that was a good conversation. It's like, Lord, you gave me that moment. Yeah. You were in that moment. But we have to train ourselves to recognize him, not just get through the hard moments and then be glad when there's a good moment. It's like, okay, Lord, where are you in the midst of each one of these? Yeah. Yeah. Really, really powerful point here. Um, I think also uh, when we think about the daily routine, those mundane moments, when we're going through the motions, To your point, I think those are excellent times to be speaking to the Lord, whether it's for 10 seconds or, you know, longer, because your body knows what to do, right? You're not having to think that hard 
when you're making breakfast, hopefully not all the time, right? <laughs> or, or when you're folding laundry or when you're, I don't know, driving, you don't have to put a lot of intentionality behind it because you've done it thousands of times. And so you have a lot of brain cells that are probably just waiting to be activated rather than activate them by, I don't know, watching a show, which I do a lot when I'm folding laundry because yeah. my hands know what to do and my brain's like, what do I do now? Um, I put on a show rather than doing that. Maybe it's time to use my brains to, um, my brain to, you know, talk to the Lord and start building my faith and using those moments as a training ground. Because you're absolutely right. You know, if you train yourself to, um, to recognize the Lord, then it will become easier because he is always around us. It's, you know, are we noticing? Right. Follow the show and check back tomorrow as I continue my conversation with Cody on what it means to have a faith that looks more like trust and less like understanding.